welcome to the Mad Hydro demonstration video. The cursor will allow you to follow the movement of the mouse. A red cycle corresponds to a left mouse click and a green cycle to a right mouse click. First, an IGES file will be imported from an external 3D NURBS modeler. The display dialog box will allow you to initialize the main data of your project, its name, the fore and aft perpendicular positions, kill point and design water lines height, the density of the water and the basic loading data, weight, the longitudinal and vertical coordinates of the center of gravity. As soon as the project's data are uploaded, they can be selected in the browser or viewed in the 3D ports. Different display modes are available. Let's select the rendered plus wireframe mode in the menu. Viewports can be zoomed. Viewpoints can be modified or reframed. To allow virtual floating of your model, its faces must form a solid water tide. In fact, the hydrostatic viewport will only display a red weight curve as long as the imported faces will not be merged into such a solid. The function mirror surface from the menu solid will allow you to associate the imported half hull to its symmetric to directly create a solid water tide. A green curve of the areas appear immediately and complete hydrostatic analysis of the ship becomes possible as soon as a realistic buoyancy and weight are defined. The created solid is then renamed in the browser. To set up a tank in this buoyant solid, you need to use the function cutout tank in the menu solid. The display dialog box will allow you to enter the tank's data and define its geometry content or filling ratio. The created tank appears in the browser. However, it is not visible in the viewport because the faces of the solid are opaque by default. To visualize the tank, you need to set the viewport shading to dimmed. In the hydrostatic viewport, you can notice that the load incidence of the liquid of the tank appears immediately on the red weight curve. The functions of the hydrostatic viewports allow you to analyze the float in real time. For instance, the function free trim and immersion allows you to calculate the ship's longitudinal balance for the current load. The 3D views as well as the hydrostatic data are updated in real time. It is then possible to display a number of current features such as the waterline current, the transverse metacentric radius, the freeboard, or the tank's free surfaces. The first six fields of the table on the left corner allow you to define the current flotation plan. For example, we can modify the heel, trim, and immersion. The three fields at the bottom on the right hand side table allow you to define an optional swell. For instance, we can modify its amplitude, wavelengths, and crest position. As before, the hydrostatic data are updated in real time. The function Reset in the hydrostatic viewport allows you to reset the current flotation to its default value. In addition to its real-time simulation capabilities, Mad Hydro also provides a complete range of offline calculation tools in the Tools submenu. Let's select the function Transversal Stability. The display dialog box allows you to define the parameters for the calculation. Changes in ship's flotation and hydrostatic data can be followed in real time during the calculation of stability. The green curve of the areas, as well as the red weight curve, are updated in real time in the hydrostatic viewport. At last, the freeboard and opening lines are highlighted as soon as they become immersed. A result dialog box pops up as soon as the calculation is finished. The writing arm curve, as well as the calculated data, can be previewed using the page tabs. The horizontal scroll bar allows you to analyze in real time the behavior of the ship within the calculated heel range. The different stability criteria which can be modified as you wish are selected by clicking on the stability criterion button. 
Depending on the selected criterion, the curve of the heel range can be automatically optimized or manually adjusted by the user. Depending on the options selected, the displayed results can be quite extensive. All the displayed results can be immediately printed out or exported. The Retain As button allows you to retain the current results within the project file for future use. The Exit Stability Analysis button allows you to close the Stability Results dialog box. The previously retained stability results can then be reviewed on the Might Hydro's 2D page.